Sports Zone starts now. Sponsored by U.S. Cellular. Well, guys, this is the sight we like to see. The bleachers were packed across mid-Missouri tonight as the unofficial starts of the high school football season got underway. That's right, it is jamboree time. First, let's take a stop at the Columbia Public Schools matchup. Hickman, Rockbridge, and Battle all meeting tonight. In the it's a jamboree filled with the big plays. We love to see it. One of the first plays of this. Look at this. Battle's Justin Goolsby. Listen up to Keelan Horn. A beautiful grab. They need to find that connection all year long. I think it might do them so well. The Bruins fans are ready to see their team. Sam Kaiser, you can tell he's related to Drew Locke, folks. A cannon gets over to Mark Hadjasek, and that is a touchdown. Celebrate. You deserve it. Hickman got in a few big plays as well. From the big man, Carter Holiday dropping back here. And look at this. Brock Camp keeps it in. Watch it again. The feet drag. That is a catch, and we got to end on this celebration of the night, at least in my book. Goolsby hands it off to Ricky Dunn, plows into the end zone. You got to finish it off with a little dancey dance. You got to get it. We love the moves. Now let's head on over to the capital city, Blair Oaks, taking on the crosstown foes, the Crusaders in action. First slice as Drew Miller rolls out, and look at this. It's picked off by safety, Alec Weiberg. Taking it down the field. Let's see what the Falcons can do with the ball. Now senior Dylan Hare, he's had a heck of a few years. Hands it off to Elijah Luckett, who powers through for the score. Next up, we're going to have head coach Mark Ross hitting the field for the first time with the Eagles. Crusaders with the ball. Sam Weirich on the move. Gets it in the end zone to Nate Rourke. And Falcons turn against the Eagles. We're going to see how this works out for him. Hare drops back over the middle and an interception from Tristan McKee. These teams have one more week of preparation before those big matchups. It's always good to get out and play somebody else. I know that's a lot of coach speak, but that is true, uh, definitely. Um, you know, I, I saw some bright spots on both sides of the football. So a lot of stuff we need to work on too. You know, our tackling, sustaining blocks. We, we had way too many penalties tonight, but those are things we'll bring to their attention tomorrow. Now over to Moberly, where Hallsville, Chillicothe, Boonville, Hallsville, and Moberly all met up. Hallsville Indians up first. Justin Conyers has the guys ready. They punch it into the end zone for a touchdown. Nicely done to start out this jamboree. And a good crowd out there tonight as well. Justin Conyers looking happy with his guys. Boonville takes its turn against Hallsville now. Kobe Caton rolling out. And look at this. He's just going to take it on it himself and absorbs a big hit into the land of six. Midseason form right there. Keep it up. Milberly getting in the work too against Centralia. Jace Wilkie finds a hole and weaves his way in for six. Spartans looking good tonight. Week one is just one week from today, folks, so get ready for that.